Well hello everybody, Smithy here and welcome to another rally video. This is the new Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo. Uh, it's a new rally game, came out yesterday. It's had a, uh, a pre-run, i.e.g. it had a demo release for the PC and it's now out on all formats. And we're going to give it a quick first look. And the first look is, yeah, it looks really cool. I had high expectations for this. Sebastian Loeb, one of my heroes of rallying, uh, and I've met him on several occasions on WRC, got his autograph. He is, as uh, still is, one of the best rally drivers in the world. So I had high hopes that this game would be brilliant. Now, it's been sold as a simulation. Uh, whereas Dirt Rally is a simulation as well, but Dirt Rally, as you know, I really like a lot. As a, so it's not a arcade game as such, so you can't just get in there and blast, but I do expect it to actually work. Now this game is made by Milestone Studios, who last outing was uh, World Rally Championship 4, which was an excellent game, drove really well. Uh, some of the scenery was a bit iffy, but it, it was really good. Uh, it sort of pleased both the people who liked simulation and also liked uh, sort of uh, just an arcade game. It played really well. So let's jump in here. This is just a preview. Front screens look really good. Now, one of the th I have had a go at this for about 40 minutes because I wanted to see what it was like. Now, interestingly enough, you don't get, like most games, you don't get access to all the good cars at the start because it's supposedly based on uh, Richard Burns Rally, which was a most excellent rally sim going back years. I mean, I, I was uh, around when uh, I'm a mature gamer. I've been around since the original Colin McRae Rally, which on the PlayStation 1, which was a, an awesome game this time. So I've played every single rally game that's ever made. So this is my view <laughs> and we will see. So first things first, you have to start with a little car if you want to go in career mode. You have to start with this car. Uh, I'm just going to click Choose the in, event with which you'd like you can, to launch your career as a professional we'll driver. That. And you can go in, there's a picture of Sebastian there, so uh, you can go in there and start your career. But uh, we're going to come out of there because I want to just show you a quick bash at it. Uh, the Sebastian Load experience is his career, which is a really, really good idea. And I'm going to just clip into there as well, show you. Which you can have a go at all his rallies, starting with his the original car look, the old Persia, uh, the old Citroen originally, uh, going through his career. So that looks pretty good. However, it's got to play well to want to do it. And then the garage, I'm just going to nip into the garage. My cars. There you go. I've got one, a <laughs> Rally 1.6. Now I can purchase cars, but I need money and I haven't got enough credit to purchase. So that's no good. Uh, so we'll come back out of there a minute. And uh, yeah, we'll just come back out of there. And I can modify it, I can change it, I can set a team up. You can see I put my name on the uh, on the thing. So what we want to do is go and have a look in. There's multiplayer options, but I'm having trouble because I tried to register multiplayer and like previous uh, games, it's a bit of an issue. I, I haven't had the email yet saying uh, to validate it, so I can't play online. So there you go. And we've got a, no a load of options. We're going to go into quick mode because this is the only thing where you can actually go and try a couple of cars out. So I'm going to try. Now, I have bought the full package. I have bought the full UK package with all the add-ons and all the DLCs because I thought it was going to be a really good game and I was going to play a lot of it. Uh, so we're going to go and do a rally. We can do the usual, but this one has Pike's Peak in it. Uh, and so that's really good. It's DLC and I've got some Pike Peaks cars as well, but we're not going to do that. So let's go and have a look at a rally. Let's go and show you the graphics. So I'm going to choose single stage. Now this is where it changes. I don't want to play with a little car. So I went looking, I can go and rent a car. You get it once. Uh, and these are the cars you can rent. That's the uh, WRC one as such. This is the old 206, uh, which is a pretty good car, but I'm going to show you something later. RS, you can see it gives a performance value. And you even can go and rent a little mini, and you can go and rent this beast here. But I wouldn't advise you use this on any tracks until you've got the hang of the game. Uh, Pike's Peak, we're going to have a go at that later. So let's go and choose the basic uh, mini. Okay, I'm going to use this. Here we go, uh, we're going to use that, don't need to buy it, uh, and I'm going to do Sweet Lamb. Now, interestingly enough, Sweet Lamb is also in Rally Dirt, and it's the same stage, and uh, for those of you who play Dirt who have not decided to buy this yet, come and have a look, because I'm going to go down this stage, this is going into the bowl at the bottom, which is Sweet Lamb Bowl. 
So it all looks really good up until now. Really, really good. And, uh, uh, oh, did I want, yeah, that's it. Let's go and do it. Uh, so I want to do stage that one there. That's what I've got. So off we go. Let's start the race. And uh, I'm going to show you. So it's raining 5,000 yards because I've got it in miles per hour. 80% wet gravel, 20% mud. Looks all really good at the moment. Uh, so here we go. And the game lives or dies on whether it dries. So I was expecting a bit of a sim. This is the same you sort of get in uh, WRC4. Uh, WRC5 is different, made by a different uh, maker and they didn't match it. So I can go in and start and change settings. Uh, I can go front suspension. It's really... Uh, I'll just whack it up a bit in a minute. So let's do that. So you can do the rear suspension. There we go. And I want to change the brakes, bit of bias to the rear. Yeah, there we go. I think that's about right. So so you can change round, you go in advanced settings, you can change all sorts of things if you really want to. Now, if you're new to rally and you don't really want to mess about with that, so we're just gonna go straight in it, start the rally. So here we go, looks quite nice, doesn't it? Uh, people aren't as well graphically rendered, and I'm in high definition. Three, so here two, we go. One. Go. So it looks 50. good. Right six over crest, 70. But you might, and it looks pretty Airpin good graphics. Right and left four, 120. Now, you're going, why are you going so slow? Hey, because there's the first. I have seen so many people do that on the other quick looks. It is, this is where the game does not work. Right four uh, titles and left the, six. The game is hard but it's too hard hey there we go and you'll be spending a lot of time left three very long crest in the bushes because the handling's a bit weird left six minus over jump and jump narrows into left three 90 hey it doesn't it doesn't do what a rally car is supposed to do so this is coming down into the bowl. Right six plus over jump one ten. And if we fly six plus over bump and right and three long. It, we're off Left again. Six ninety. And I've been playing rally games for years, so I'm not over egging the pudding Left here. Four into right five plus one hundred. Caution, right six into hairpin left, 100. And you can see it's a bit... Oh! It takes a lot of getting used left to, and I've been playing for 40 minutes. Left six plus into right five, now here we go down to the land ball. It flies. Right what it is, it's like. It's like the cars Caution, are too light. Bump, narrows into right four and bump. Now it's supposed to be a sim, but I don't think it's supposed right to like, left three it's almost like long. we're playing rallying on Mars. That's how it feels, they're too light. You can have some nice spins suddenly, so I can get it to go around until it overcooks. Right three but... over crest, 40. <laughs> and did you notice there was no, hey, right six Ooh. over crest, 50. Uh, sorry about that. Right, there is no water in the, uh, Caution, come down here, right this is usually full of water, there's no water long. here, look, it's empty, so I don't know what's happened to the water. Left four, 70. So, right six, you have to drive 60. slow, it is almost Left like two plus, simulation, 50. if it is supposed to be simulation, but it's not like Richard Burns rally. Left three, 80. But there's a lot to be tweaked with this, now what? Gets right me four as I was expecting to so good. Left four minus. Right six and left two and right two into left six ninety. You spend a lot of your time doing that. You can see the way it doesn't it doesn't like uh, doesn't meet with the road surface. It sort of glides right, across long. it. It's almost like Finish. you're on ice all the time. So what we're going to do is show you what I mean. I'm going to show you a different car on Pikes Peak. And this, just to show you how this handling works. So you can probably tell by now, 
I'm not impressed. <laughs> I'm not impressed I paid so much money for it, but uh, it's not as good as I expected. So let's just go. Yeah, I can't, I can't upload yet, so I can, that doesn't work. So 303, okay, there we go. I'm gonna come back and get on Pike's Peak with another vehicle and show you what I mean. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's the tarmac version. Now, of course, I haven't shown tarmac. So tarmac, if you have a road this wide, it's a lot easier to drive. But even on the tarmac, I feel that the car slides too much. It's not grippy enough what we're used to on other rally games. This is uh, a lot easier on a wider road like this. Right, we'll try and go on gravel. Three, so here two, we go. Try one, a bit of pike speed. Go. You can see the car at the back end, sort of. Uh, oh, that's better. I'm going to drive this now. See if I can get some good driving. Here. It's yeah. There you go. It's like I'm, it's like I'm a sensible bearing. Now, if the tracks are this wide on all the stages, which they're not, if you go and play Finland, they're dead narrow. And there's some funny. If the tracks were this width, I think this the physics and everything would be good enough to be happy, but they're not. Hey. See, don't talk and play. So at least I can, but and nothing goes towards my uh, score. I can't get these cars unless I play career mode. Good sound. I like the sound, and I like some of the graphics. I do like this because the tr these trees are far, very nice, and it's got rewind on, which is really cool. Right, we're gonna go and get the T16 out for you on the final blast up here. So here we go guys, a super duper Three, T16. Two, one, go. Now this is a point squirt, but already is becoming unmanageable. You can see it sort of right, I'm gonna try and drive this because it's near impossible. Once you lose it, Right, uh, so there you go, uh, he pays your money and takes a choice, but my view is, if you're on a PC, go and download the demo first to see whether you like it or not, before you re ready to shell out 44 quid for the, uh, 44 pounds, it's like 50 odd dollars, is it, in the States, but before you shell that money out, I think you need to draw it. It is, has got its virtues, and the stages are good. Uh, for a Pikes Peak in the gravel, the old days, this looks quite cool, but look what's happening again. Can't get, it goes off. So what I'll do is I'm going to come back and do a few more videos. I'm going to do some comparison videos between dirt and, <laughs> oh dear, and, and dirt, and then uh, you'll be able to see the difference between stages. Because I do like the stages, because they are nearly all real stages, whereas dirt, some of them a slightly different to the real thing so there we go right bye for now hope you like this early preview or early look at this is the actual game this is not the demo or anything else this is the end product that's been shipped sorry milestone go back to the mechanics of 
Uh, WRC4, please, because that drove really well. Thanks very much indeed for watching, everybody. Uh, like or hate, that's up to you. But there you go. That's this game. Try the demo first before you actually buy it. <laughs> and I hope they actually improve it. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye. So here you go. I just thought I'd show you dirt. And you can see how this car sits on the track. And what we'll do is take you down to the bottom of this stage because that's where Sweet Man was. And the bit start the video. And then we'll be gone. Into left five, over press, keep left over jump, 130, caution, keep right over jump, cross junction, braking, left six, over open half and right. So we're going down to the same area. Left six, over we press, were right 80. at the start of the video. We're going to do some comparisons for you. Left four, you can five, see the difference how the car handles. Into right six, half long, long air dirt rally. It actually sits on the road. Caution, right five, right. long, into turn half and left. 80. Keep left over crest. Keep mid over crest. 80. Right five long, past junction. 100, past layby. Right six long, past junction. Caution slowing. 80 over crest. Right five that through gate. Water 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 jump. Hey. Caution keep mid over jump. 100 down, braking, turn to cue right. Into left one long, open two long. 60, caution right four over big jump. And right six over big jump, 40 down. Right three water splash. Right two through gate, open to path junction. 60 path junction. Left so five over press, into right six long, 60 to finish. Bye-bye.